Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, DOPA for short. This is a place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the no notifications so you don't get to miss any new content that we share. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be dealing with a very interesting cell organelle. It's called the Golgi or Golgi apparatus. The plural of apparatus is what? Apparatuses or apparati? I don't know. We call it apparatuses. All right. So it's also known as Golgi body. Okay. Or complex. Now here is a very simplistic diagram I try to put up. So this 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 is it here. So I just try to magnify it so that you get. So it's looking like a stack of plates. Okay. So this how that elongated shape now as you can see very well that you have some certain round substances both at this end and both at this end we're going to explain every one of them now consider this illustration you go to your friend's house and they're about to serve you food they've spent time to prepare the meal cook it very well we'll they call you and say come to the kitchen and you start eating from the pot rice let's take for example rice and just take, go to the pot of rice no they will call you to the dining table and then they will dish out the white rice let's take for example white rice and they'll carry the stew the sauce put it carry maybe vegetables you'll take um, some pieces of meat on top put maybe um, plantain and so on then put maybe some coleslaw or um, salad and water all right so they add a lot of things to just that white rice though they call it rice but you add a lot of things so it's a similar thing the gogi apparatus does now the gogi apparatus this side here okay is called the cis the cis end this other end is called the trans end all right this cis end has a very close relationship with the endoplasmic reticulum now the endoplasmic reticulum as we know is the manufacturing center the rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes manufactures proteins that are very important to so many cellular functions the smooth one manufactures lipids so what does the Golgi apparatus do? It modifies, it processes, okay? So you finish cooking the food, it's ready, you've manufactured it, but you add a lot of things. So it adds, it removes, it modifies, it packages it, okay? You put it on the plate, sometimes maybe you have to cover it, package it, then go and present it, and so on. So the same thing, you manufacture something in the manufacturing, maybe a perfume. The real content there that is you need to use is the liquid perfume, but you put it in a bottle, package it, put it sometimes in another carton, very beautiful. Then you label it and package it and distribute it to the end user, the consumer. So that is exactly how to understand the function of the Golgi apparatus. It packages and modifies. And most of the time it adds carbohydrate substances to the proteins. Okay? It's called glycosylation. Glycosylation. Okay? So it will add that, it becomes a glycoprotein. If it's the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it will add carbohydrate to it become glycolipids sometimes it adds sulfate uh, um, compounds to it or phosphate and so on to the so it just modifies and embellishes it to yield the final product and then it distributes so it modifies it processes it it packages labels that means it puts some signaling molecules 
around it to identify it so that it can go to the right place in the cell okay that's the labeling we're talking about put some identity and put some signaling substances on it so that it if you want it to go to this side it goes to this side if you want it to go outside it goes outside the cell if you want it to be embedded in the cell membrane it goes there okay remember proteins and lipids is what makes up the cell membrane so sometimes it embeds those substances that it has processed and makes it to be part of the cell membrane because all those substances sometimes they grow old and they become weak so they die out and new ones so that is what the Golgi apparatus does i hope you understand it very easy now i'm going to look at two other substances okay in conjunction with the Golgi apparatus that have very interesting some of them are made from the Golgi apparatus some of them are made from the endoplasmic reticulum they perform also some very interesting functions i'm going to be looking at that after this break All right, welcome back. So now we're going to be dealing with this other cell organelle it's called lysosome. Okay, it's probably related to the Golgi apparatus. In fact, it's believed that it is it is made from the Golgi apparatus. All right. So this is it. The cis end that receives, and then it now all these things they are vesicles. So it's just like it's broken out from the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is what makes the lysosome. Now look at the word lysosome. Anything some has to do with body. So lys, to lys huh, means to break or destroy. Okay? So these lysosomes, they are, they are here like this. They are like the digestive system of the cell. They do a lot of breaking so they have so many so many maybe up to 100 200 different kinds of enzymes and the enzymes that are all of the class called acid hydrolysis acid hydrolysis that means this enzyme they function best in acidic medium of about five pH of about five that's the pH they function best okay so what they do is that they ingest and digest and eat up unwanted cell organelles you know, some cell organelles as they go they become old and they are worn out so they need to be destroyed so they are destroyed in this lysosome it eats them up destroys them through this acid hydrogen then spits them out breaks them into very simple substance that who can be reused you see that all right so that's what it does it's called autophagy autophagy okay then there's another function called crinophagy in this one it has to do with the secretory substances that are secreted these vesicles they are secretory vesicles okay from the Golgi apparatus okay a lot of cells that secrete a lot they have a lot of Golgi apparatus all right like glands okay so sometimes they can secrete excess and the cell does not want that so what does it do the lysosome takes part of those excess and digests them with the hydrolysis okay breaks them down into the simple substances that they came from you know they all come from simple substances and amino acids and so on glucose and all of that that's how they are made so it breaks them down into a simple substance so that's crinophagy so one thing is that this acid hydro why it is acidic it has a protective mechanism because those enzymes cannot function when the ph is higher and the general ph of within the cell is about 7.4 so if for example it bursts and releases its enzymes what happens they get diluted in the cyto in the cytosol 
all right and they become inactive so it doesn't digest all that so other cell organelles that are still useful so that's a protective way so that is just what the lysosome they do now there's another cell organelle that performs something similar with the lysosome but there is a difference that one is known as peroxisome let's write it here peroxisome okay so you see some body peroxisome it has a relationship with peroxide hydrogen so you always use that to remember the function peroxisome hydrogen peroxide it has a relationship with hydrogen peroxide we're going to talk about it now so basically it's involved in lipid breakdown in a lot of cells and detoxification of harmful substances a lot of toxins harmful substances maybe especially oxygen free radicals let me write it oxygen free radicals oxygen free radicals or you call them reactive oxygen species free radicals or reactive oxygen species okay that means they have an electron that is unpaired they are very dangerous so these peroxisomes they help to remove them and they do that through enzymes two enzymes they are known as what you have the oxidases and the catalysis now let's write it oxidase you see it's different from this one uses hydrolysis okay this one uses oxidase and what catalyst now how does that function when you have a reactive oxygen species this oxidase will go and attack it and react with it and turn it transform it into hydrogen peroxide which is less dangerous okay but hydrogen peroxide itself transform these free radicals into hydrogen peroxide that's this oxidase okay but this hydrogen peroxide is still dangerous so this oxidase leads to hydrogen peroxide then the catalyst that's where the catalyst now comes in it now turns this hydrogen peroxide this catalyst okay into water and what oxygen all right so it turns it to work some oxygen it's no longer harmful so a lot of there are very many in organs like the liver and even the kidney the liver detoxification alcohol formaldehyde all those dangerous substances it turns them into simple so that's what the peroxisome they do oxidase catalyst why the lysosome they use acid hydrolysis so just as lysosomes they come out they are broken out from the Golgi apparatus, the peroxisomes, they are believed to be broken out from the endoplasmic reticulum. So these are some of these organelles, very simple, very easy, very interesting, important functions that you need to know. All right? So we're going to be looking at some other interesting cell organelles in the next lecture. Don't miss it.